All righty, back with another construction update. So here we are at Moosehorn Falls. Things are starting to pick up, I think. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, whatever you want to do. Um, the slide is definitely waxed, if you can tell. If you look at her, she's very shiny. Um, they've painted the pool blue, so you can see that. The pool is painted blue. Um, all the aesthetics going up the queue line are in and done. Um, they are working on the conveyor belt. If you can tell, they've installed that waterproof netting around it or whatever. It looks horrible in my opinion, but again, it's hard to tell from the drone. Um, as close as we look, we are actually very far away. So it distorts images all the time. Um, they are about to pour the, uh, landscaping for, uh, Moosehorn Falls, as you can tell. So the landscaping, the pathways and all that about to go in. Um, and then they're going to lay down some grass, obviously. So a lot of work to do, but I have a feeling, I have a sneaky suspicion that we're going to start to see this thing running um, in the next three days. So if I had to take a wild guess, probably Monday, um, maybe on the weekend, who knows? They have been working weekends, by the way. They worked the long weekend as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to talk about for Moosehorn Falls right now. It is connected to the main building. So if you look very closely back there, you can see the power and electrical is connected. The plumbing is connected as well. We're just waiting on the plumbing to connect to the upper tower of the slide. Um, over on the 2025 area, I'm, so many people are commenting, stop calling it project 2025. I had to Google what that meant and now i understand so i'm gonna try and refrain from calling it project 2025 so by the way if i say it by accident i'm not saying it on purpose but as you can see here they've leveled the land um so they've bulldozed dirt it looks like they're filling in the hole why they've done that is the drill is going to go in there and drill those footings and it needs level land um to drill on it needs as level of land as possible to drill on it's easier for it to drill that is my guess. That is all that's going on there. Um, they've gone in and remarked the footings in this area again, again. So this is a fourth time that they've gone in and remarked the footings. Um, it's crazy because it costs money to do that, by the way. Every time they have to go in and remark those uh, footings, it's costing um, the construction company or the park more money. Um, over here in the station area, you have the brakes that lead into this setting of footings, as you can see here. Um, and then the station area is that first like one that's lower in the ground and then the part that's under the white tarp as well. So definitely a lot of work has occurred. Um, very excited to see them move elsewhere in the park, which is going to be soon because they're about to work on the turn out of the station into the launch. Um, so that'll be really cool to see. I know we are waiting on one more um, threaded rod. Um, I'm not going to put it in here, but there was one that was damaged, and they're just waiting on a new one to arrive. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say in this specific area. Um, this is the launch that leads down into the mountain. Now, this is where things get really interesting. I want to let you guys know that I am buying a very expensive um, recreation of what I think the layout is going to be. It is going to cost a lot of money for a Canadian. Um, it is being made up in Blender. Uh, so I'm really excited about that because it's going to go into full detail and hopefully we'll have it in the next two weeks. Fingers crossed for you guys. Um, but it is costing more than this channel makes in a month. Uh, so uh, hopefully you guys watch it and enjoy it. Um, but I'm really excited about it because you guys are going to really want to see, uh, what they're whipping up because it's insane. Um, so yeah, that will be out, um, hopefully in two weeks. Um, and yeah, again, I'm trying to build hype because a lot of people have been like, oh, I'm not that excited, but you have to remember, by the way, the engineering team, um, that is taking what we see and the footing markings and, um, what I personally know into account with this design, we're at around 3,400 feet to 3,700 feet to a max of 4,200 feet in length of track, by the way. So we're looking at a very large coaster. Um, you have to remember that Leviathan's like 5,100 or something like that, 5,600, something like that. I don't know. I don't know the exact length. Jake's going to Jake's going to read me out in discord later for not knowing it. But that's including the brake run and lift hill. OK, so this coaster is going to be that long. 
um, with no massive lift hill and brake run, and it's got a short station. So it's a very long coaster. So there's a lot to be excited about. Don't underestimate Premier. If a park asks for specific design, specific elements, there's going to be um, that ability to design it. Um, and again, people are not realizing the engineering that is going to have to go into this coaster. It's got to go into the mountain. It's got to work its way over and through Vortex lift hill and drop supports. So I am I think this is still going to be Wonderland's coolest project, personally. And that's coming from someone that overloves Yukon Striker. Um, but I'm really excited to see if it does anything exciting inside the mountain. If it's going to do little turns and stuff before it hits a major launch into a major element. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. This cool little really high tech, by the way, um, lawn cutting robot has appeared outside Cyclone. It's a self-charging satellite imagery, um, kind of like we'll call it a drone lawnmower. Um, and yeah, so it was really cool to see the park testing this out. That little white disc on top, um, very similar to Enterprise drones. Uh, it uses satellite imagery. It's able to, you know, do its own little thing. Wild Beast has this new fence up, by the way, that is surrounding um, a lockout area. So that's really cool. I just wanted to show you guys that. But yeah, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Um, definitely a lot going on at the park. Um, and it's going to be almost daily now. So thank you so much. And stay tuned for our recreation of my prediction layout. Have a good one, guys. Bye.